but I'm going to talk about the global issues, the important challenges, because migration is a global issue. I don't mind to say to you, you know, but we don't talk much about it until it gets to Europe. I mean, you know, we see the same thing with Ebola. Ebola is happening in West African countries, affecting people, but it did not get much attention in spite when we were shouting. We didn't get the, uh, uh, what do you call it, the, 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 the sound waves uh, until it gets to U, uh, USA. So I hope, you know, the, the vulnerability and the need of these special group of people can get the intention, attention they deserve in the global discourse. So um, I'll come to Australia. You are absolutely correct, the importance of data. But I don't mind to tell you, in so many countries in the Big Cho, uh, well, I talk about you know uh, vital registration. We don't even know how many women and children and men are in the country. I have 194 countries. Only 68 of them even have birth and death registrations. So, how do we build the evidence base? And I fully agree with Australia the importance of the evidence base and the data. Begin as what you know. Uh, many of you talk about registration, including not but not just your population, but also including the vulnerable populations, understanding their health profile. Without that data, you know, data drives policy, and data drives uh, uh, priorities. So, I mean, in in order that government invests in the right priorities, you do need state data. So. Now, uh, uh, Libya, uh, your, your question is to Finland, so I will not touch them. Um, Venezuela, excellent comments about coordination and coherent policies. Every fora I go to, in health, in uh, uh, you know migration, in um, uh, uh, nutrition, everyone is talking about the importance of multisectoral cooperation, the whole of government approach. But my question to you is, do you think your ministries are fully aligned? This is a challenge, our common challenge. The UN also, we have our problems. Uh, I can speak to that, at least, you know, but also in the government, because your minister of health come to the big toe, and then your minister of finance go to the, the banks, and your minister of agriculture to the FAO, and the, the list is long. Are they singing from the same song sheet? I'm have, I have to say to you, in some countries it's better than the others, so you know who you are. Now, the, your, your, your comment about local authority is spot on. No health system resilience can happen without engagement of the community, especially the importance of primary health care. You need to mobilize the, the women, the men, and the girls in the community to provide advice and care that they are part of the uh, a solution. And we only can get to the bottom of Ebola is because the three countries, after the very slow start and the denial and the resistance at the beginning, eventually mobilized the community. That is a big lesson for all of us to learn. Now, Japan, thank you for, again, um, mentioning the importance of preparedness beforehand, exactly, spot on, as part of the health system strengthening. I will make sure that your next G7 leadership, uh, together with Germany, you have pledged to support many countries in building strong health system and that nobody is left behind. That is part and parcel of the solidarity uh, theme that we talk about. We have a crisis of solidarity with the courage and the commitment and the conviction of the leaders and the community, we will get there. Thank you.